Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show the Wiglot Arabic and how to set the Arabic language in Wiglot. In other videos I already showed how to install it. and once you have already installed and activated Wiglot, it's really easy to set up the API key that you will add here. You can register in Wiglot for free, you can test out the 2000 words. And for example, in this case, I already have set up my WordPress website in English and the destination language is German. But in case that I want to add Arabic, I will just have to search for the Arabic language. And I can save. And once it's saved, we can go back to our main website, just click update. And we will have the Arabic language. And we, as we all know, the, the Arabic language is a different position from right to left. And in this case, you don't have to do anything else. In the case of Wiglot, it does the translation automatic for the main text. This is the dummy text. And that's all the work that you have to do in case that you want to translate to the Wiglot Arabic. Here in the dashboard of Wiglot, if we click update, we can see now the appearance of the Arabic language. Also, in case that we want to change the flag, we can go to settings, to the language switcher. And here we can search for any other flag that it will be regarding to the Arabic language. So it will be a matter of searching which country you are from that also talks Arabic. By default is Saudi Arabia. But of course there are more country flags that you can change for the Arabic language. And in this way it's really easy to set the Wiglot Arabic language here. I don't speak Arabic, you're the experts, so you're the ones who are going to judge the good quality of the translation. For example, I have some blog posts, this one about international SEO. So if that translation is okay, you're the ones who are going to judge, what do you think? Or in case that you have uh, Arabic as an original language here in your Wiglot, WordPress website, then it will be translated to the different languages. So also please write on the comments, what do you think about the quality of this Wiglot Arabic language? Is the quality okay? Probably there might be some stuff, some grammar, uh, probably some words that are not probably really, really accurate. But in case that you want to rely on the Wiglot Arabic, it's also a really fast option to do the translation. Also, in the case of WooCommerce, that's one of the main advantages here that I see with Wiglot is how fast, how accurate it is to do the translations. So also, please write on the comment what do you think about the translation of the Wiglot WooCommerce, the descriptions. We have also the measures, size, colors and so on. In case that you have Arabic as the main language, you can set it up here in the original language. We can search here Arabic or also here on the settings area. We can go to general and also we can have here the original language as a main language here. We can also search up here or just write down Arabic and you will have Arabic as the main or vice versa. If you want the Arabic language to be a language to be translated to, then you can be adding more languages. Also, according to the different plans that Wiglot offers, you, you can set more than two, three languages, but that's also as a recommendation that I have given. It's better to have three, maximum five in the case of the advanced plan or even the bigger plans. Otherwise, you will reach the word limit that they have. 
So this was a brief video about Wiglot Arabic, how to add the language, how you can easily translate your content to the Arabic language. Plus also Wiglot has plenty of more languages that can be really useful for. If you have some questions and comments, don't hesitate to write them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.